Asana has been rolling out some really cool updates the last couple months and I missed last month's what's new in Asana. So this is your what's new in Asana for May and June of 2024. First, we're going to be starting off at the top with smart rules. I'm going to be showing you how you can use AI and use simple language to build out your rules and workflows within Asana. And we're going to be going over weighted goals in Asana. Yes, we've had goals for a long time, but now we can actually assign weights to the different projects and tasks as sub goals that make up our larger goals as well. And then the third one we're going to be looking at is capacity planning and not the feature itself. We've already talked about that, but now you're able to group your capacity plans and see them by projects, not just by the people. So let's get into it. But if you are new here, it's your first time. My name is Marquis Murray and I am an Asana partner and the CEO of Surface. And I make videos like this every single week to help you and your teams get the most out of your Asana instance. So let's take a quick look at the demo here. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I've got my video project here. Here you can see kind of behind the scenes. I mean, we're recording this video right now, but I'm just going to show you what the smart rules will look like. So as we go to customize, we're just going to test this out and see what we can do with it. So we're going to go in, we're going to add a rule, go right in there and go into our builder. So typically we would either start building it ourselves by going through this list and pulling in our different triggers and actions. Or if you're not comfortable with the advanced rule builder, you can switch to the classic rule builder, but we're going to keep it here for a second so we can take advantage of the AI features. So you'll notice if you are on the enterprise plan and up and even advanced sorry you will see that you have this little three stars here which says create rule with Asana intelligence so again you have to be on at least the advanced enterprise or enterprise plus and you should know by now that all the videos I make are pretty much for advanced and up um, a lot of the features that I show require at least an advanced license um, I don't really show anything that's specific to the free plan maybe one day I'll do that but because we work with a lot of customers that are on the advanced and enterprise Obviously, I'm catering to those types of people. So here we go. We're going to click on this and we're just going to use some simple language. So we have this box pop up in the side and it gives you some prompts. First off, just some suggestions. So based on the type of project you have, what it sees in there as far as custom fields and sections, AI is going to make some assumptions and try and help you get started a bit sooner. So we've got a few suggestions here. So it says when marketing status custom fields may set to backlog, add a comment. So we can simply click that and it's going to show us the prompts that it's actually filling in for us. So again, when marketing status, custom field is changed, check if marketing status is set to backlog, and then add a comment, right? Keep it really simple. So AI is thinking, it's recommending some things, and there we go. So marketing status is changed, check if, and then do this. And then we can add that, and then go in and further customize it. We can add our variables and add any other text to make it work for us, all right? So let's go back, I'm gonna back out of this a little bit, and we're gonna try something else. So let's try something else. When due date is approaching, and the task is unassigned, add a comment, so let's see what what this does for us. It's recommending, thinking, there we go, due date is approaching, assignee is empty, add a comment. It's great, pretty simple, I'm gonna discard that. Let's try something ourselves. So again, I'm in my video production project. Let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna say when this happens, so when a task is moved to the published section, what do we wanna do here? Check if the assignee is known and then do this add a comment addressed to kate saying that the video is uploaded let's see what it does let's create this I'm very curious task is moved to section assignee is not empty add comment hey kate the video is uploaded all right so it, it did okay let's go and add that maybe we'll just have to modify it so task is moved to section which section we're going to check if the assignee is not empty great and then we're going to add a comment that says hey kate so i'd probably just go in here now and just create a variable right for a person and we're going to make this assignee kate like so so, because that's the person I want to mention, but that could be the rule triggerer, it could be the signee, we could add collaborators, we can do whatever we want here. And then I want to modify this when task is moved to a section, but it doesn't know which section. So it would be nice if we could modify that but we can, maybe I wasn't specific enough. Let's back it out and let's try something else. When this happens, let's do another due date one. When the due date is approaching, check if video is in ready to edit section, in the ready to edit section. And then what do I want it to do? Create a comment forming collaborators that the task needs to be addressed. All right, 
Let's correct that and let's create and see what it does. Maybe my language is too complex for it. Okay, due date is approaching, three days of four. Okay, section is ready to edit, add comments, the due date is approaching. So it did it. So there we go. It's gonna take some playing around. You have to modify some things, but I think as the AI rolls out more on the tool, we're gonna see a lot more functionality here. But due date is approaching, the video is ready. Is in the ready to edit section? The task needs to be addressed, right? So we can obviously modify that. So great, I'm gonna publish that rule and we're feeling good about that. All right, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the weighted goals, all right? So I'm gonna go into my actual goals here. We're doing our planning for Q3. We're basically there now. And so I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So here we have our top level objective. We've got our sub goals here. So I'm gonna click into our objective here and you'll notice this little button that pops up now where if you click on it, it says the weights are custom, all right? So what we've done is with all of our sub goals, we've assigned a weight to them as far as the importance goes, right? And so we can say that, you know, clearly surface Asana architecture, overhaul and cleanup, gone through some changes, we're updating things. We've gone through extensive process improvement, some stint within our company. And so there's some cleanup we got to do. So that's weighted pretty heavily because it's impacting other areas of the business right now. Whereas finance, mission control, fundamentals defined and implemented is, is 10%. We're doing okay on the finance front. Our finance team is fantastic. And so it's not weighted as heavily, but it's still important to achieving this overall goal. If we don't want to have custom weights, we can actually make them equal where we're going to assign equal percentage based on the number of sub goals that always have to equal to 100%. Right, and so you have some options now where you can actually see the impact that specific sub goals are making to your overall. I may be a bit biased in saying so, but if you haven't already done it, I highly recommend subscribing to our newsletter, All Systems Go. Each week we deliver the latest news, blog posts, and even free resources on Asana and workflow optimization directly to your inbox. The best part, it's totally free. It's the perfect resource you're looking for to improve your system building skills and productivity through process improvements. All Systems Go is designed to be your go-to guide in navigating workflow optimization, especially if you're new to it. Click the link below to subscribe. And then the third one I'm gonna show you is grouping your capacity planning by project. So we're gonna go into our reporting module here. We're gonna create a capacity plan. And you know, prior to this rollout, we just had the people section. I've got two videos on capacity plans. They'll be somewhere, I don't know. But you know, we can take a look at our capacity by percentage allocation, by project count, by estimated hours, and we can add various people in here. So this is not new. Let me just add a few folks in here so that you've got some information to work with. With. We got Happy Gilmore, we got all of these different people that are coming in, right? And then we could go in and we can add projects to these people based on the projects that they are assigned to. So again, that's not new, but now we have this new projects tab. And for the first time, we can actually add all the projects in and then see the people that are assigned to them and what their capacity looks like. So I'm gonna go add a project and rather than adding individual projects, I'm just gonna add a portfolio. We got seven projects in there, I believe. There we go. And now we can go in and we can see all of the different people that are assigned. I still wish that it was possible to have all the team members that are in these projects just automatically added here. But in any case, we can go in and we can add other folks here as well to see all the people that are on these projects and what their assignments are. And again, we can change this up here to people count, and change the percentage allocation, right? As long as we're doing it that way in our projects and we're using the correct custom fields, or we can do it by hours and then easily switch back and forth as well to see all the information that we need. So hope you found this helpful. That was your what's new in Asana for May and June 2024. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.